Good news, we just saw a huge step forward for robots and it means we're getting closer to you having your own robot butler. Boston Dynamics is a robotics company that you might know from its cute dog robot that people seem to really enjoy kicking. The big news from the company this week is that it is retiring its humanoid hydraulic robot called the HD Atlas. And frankly, given how much we've seen of the Atlas over the years, I'm going to miss it. But don't worry, the Hyundai-owned company has a new Atlas out, and this one is electric. Now, we're playing the video of it in action right now, but sadly, we just don't have that many details on it, apart from what we can, of course, see in the video. TechCrunch did speak to the company about the new Atlas, but details are just a little mum, given that the company is just starting to show it off. We do know, however, that the new Atlas will work first in Hyundai facilities and not your house. But with a slimmer form factor, grippy hands, and a crazy range of motion, it does look like we're getting to the point when humanoid robots are going to leave the lab and stop working in ones and twos. So get ready for human robot fleets. The new Atlas is hardly the only contender in the market. Tesla has the Optimus line of humanoid robots in the works. Then there's Agility Robotics, which has raised north of $100 million for its own bipedal robot. And then there's Figure, also in the mix, a buzzy startup that just raised $675 million from companies like Amazon, NVIDIA, Microsoft, and OpenAI. Yeah, OpenAI. Which brings us to the other half of making a humanoid robot actually useful, and that's software. Making a robot that can do a single thing well and quickly is something that we humans are actually very, very good at. Go watch any video of a car being welded together and you'll understand what I mean. But if you want a robot that can learn and do, you are going to need a lot of smart software to make it more than a glorified repetitive motion machine. The good news there is that large language models, or LLMs, the brains behind the latest AI models that everyone can't stop talking about, actually have some pretty cool robotics applications. This should make sense. After all, LLMs can ingest language, ask questions, and then write code. That sounds like a recipe for robots learning on the job. All of this is freaking cool, and it's great to see startups in the mix as well. But it does make me wonder, are we going to get in-home robotic help before we get self-driving cars? Because if we are, that's wild. See you tomorrow.